One of the features in Lizzie is the ability to import bank records from your bank. Um, this could be credit card records. It could be your bank account for the main you know, company account. Um, it really doesn't matter. The, the system can handle any of the, the different files. Now, to use this, what we're going to do is go to Accounting Checking, and we're going to select Import Bank File. And you can see up here at the top, uh, we support the QIF files, which are the older Quicken files, um, which most banks actually have uh, an export for that. And then we also support the QBO, the QuickBooks files, and then the Quicken Financial, the QFX uh, files. So the on the bank statement, I'm not going to go through that process, but on your bank statement, when you log into the bank account on the website, there's going to be somewhere on there uh, that you can download your statement. Um, one thing is you, you probably want to get in a habit of doing this at least once a month because most of the banks and the credit card companies only let you download two or three months worth of statements at once. Um, so if you go too long without doing this, then you're, you're going to miss the opportunity to, to use this feature. So I've already downloaded a test file that we'll use for this example, and I'm just going to import the QIF file. Um, there really isn't anything other than making sure that the last three digits on the file either say QBO or QIF um, so that the system knows what type of file to, that it's importing. That's what it uses is that extension. So once I have imported the file, um, you can see a, a couple things. Um, one is it brings in all of the detail from the, the file that we just imported. Um, they have uh, icons here to tell me whether it is a withdrawal, which is the little minus sign that's coming out, and then the plus sign is money going in where we actually made a payment to the account. Um, you also see some of these items have a little... Uh, icon beside them and it says view possible matches these are situations where Lizzie sees a, an entry in there that already matches that particular uh, entry and wants to know if you want to match that up to that particular account um, or that entry that's already there or do you want to enter a new entry so in this case um, this is a, a, a payment that was made this is a payment the same amount everything's the same so I'm just going to click the little link here to link that one and so it comes in and shows me that it's it's now linked um, this would be another one so I can come down through here real quick and check the ones that have this little icon beside them make sure that everything is linked up click the the link icon and and I can kind of verify those uh, pretty quickly so once I get those linked uh, up here at the top I have the ability to remove the linked files um, so it just makes my file shorter so that I don't have as much stuff to look through now I want to add this particular entry and you notice when I imported the file I told it what account I was going to be working with when I imported it and that's kind of critical that you pick that first um, so that's the account that it's looking in to make sure that everything matches up so what I want to do now is I want to add this entry Lizzie doesn't see anything in the checkbook right now that matches this so I want to add it into the into the account so to do that we have the ability to either link it to a paid to if you want to make sure that this thing actually links up to a particular customer or we can just tell it to add it to the account or if we want to delete it out of here because we don't want it in there we can just hit the trash can and delete it but in this case I'm going to match it up so I'm just going to tell it to hit the plus sign this is supposed to be a withdrawal so we hit the plus sign um, this is going to tell us whether it is a credit card or debit card that was used or whether it was an electronic fund transfer so like when I'm putting in the payments um, and I'll do that one of those in a moment but when I put in the payments those are EFTs um, so I want to make sure that that gets recorded as an EFT and not a debit card um, but other than that this really isn't going to hurt anything either way um, so I'm just going to click OK everything is filled in for me the only thing that I have to do is I have to tell it what account that particular item was for so I'm going to go down and we'll just pick a you know whatever it happened whatever we want for this demo and I'm going to add that and then we're going to tell it to save to the account so now you'll notice that a little link icon shows up um, by the time you get this um, it, it's possible that Lizzie's already matching uh, the thing automatically because we've we're actually modifying the code to to do the match for you automatically when you're adding a, an entry from the screen 
Um, but in the event that it doesn't, then I would just click here and, and tell it to link up. So all I'm going to do is go down through here and click the plus sign and add the entry, select the account that it goes to, and then hit add and then save. And then, like I said, this will start to automatically match probably by the time you're watching this video. Um, but if it doesn't, then you just click here and tell it to link up. Um, you really don't have to link it up at all. Um, this, all of this stuff is all temporary that, that you're working with. So to be honest with you, if you see the icon sitting here and it's something that you just put into the system, you do not have to, to make it say matched over here for this to do its job. It, it has already done its job just by putting the entry in the, in the table. So as an example, um, if I come over here and tell it that I want to put this entry in and we pick an account and we add and save that just this icon sitting there is enough to tell me that I, I don't need to worry about that thing now if I click on it and there's two entries listed because I happen to have two amounts for the two entries that hit for the same amount um, that might be a problem so then I want to link it up to the right one um, but other than that you, you're just by this icon being here we're good to go um, now, if we come down here to one of these debits, th this is a, a credit that was done on, you know, taking something back to, to the store, for example, and they did a refund. So when we put this entry in, it actually comes in as a, as a deposit with the description as to what it was for. Um, and so then you pick the account that it's going to go against. Um, so it's pretty much the same process. It's just shows up as a deposit instead of a, a withdrawal um, but all of your date and all that stuff are all filled in for you automatically um, and again it'll get the little icon so I move on so all I'm really looking for is to get all of these little icons showing up beside everything um, now if I want to get my list smaller and smaller then we need to make sure that it actually says that it's linked and then come up here and tell it to remove match and that'll make my file smaller and smaller as I go so that is really all there is to it so now if we come over here to view register and i'll have to change this date back i'll just change it to the beginning of last year um, and then we pick our american express card and so all of those entries that we've been sitting there tagging are all getting added to the account and they're getting added for whatever date was the, the particular charge was done so um, it gives you a, a really quick way to make sure that all the entries are in the account and that you somebody didn't forget to give you a receipt for something and, and you missed it. So when we get around to doing the actual reconciliation process, it'll be much faster because everything will already be in the account.